somebody put out information that alluded to me cheating on the air, right? First thing I asked her, I was like, okay, how did you and Ken meet? She said, he approached me, he DM'd me. Pretty much, he DM'd me, like, first. And how can he DM you and don't even know your Instagram name? So, with that being said, the girl approached Ken first, the girl DM'd Ken first. He's put up, bitch. Is that life? Yes, this is life. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What's up you guys? It's your girl Bella Bay and thank you so much for taking the time to join me today on my YouTube channel. And as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm gonna be doing a deep dive of the one and only DK for L. And this was specifically requested from one of my viewers on a previous video and I definitely appreciate y'all coming in on who y'all want me to do a video on next. Let's keep on coming in. Let's keep on liking. Let's get this video to 20 likes. Like, comment, subscribe. And let's get into it. Deara and Ken, formerly known as DK4L, met up at a Chipotle back in 2014. We met four years ago almost yeah. at Chipotle. No way, randomly? Yeah. Randomly. Ken was smitten by Deara, walked up to her, asked for her number, but Deara was like, uh uh, boo. She gave him her kick instead. He tried to ask for my number, but I gave him a kick. Which is like, that's smart. Yep. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's smart. Y'all know back in the day, Kick was that girl. Before there was a Snapchat, be before there was a Snapchat, because y'all know Snapchat went crazy when Snapchat dropped. We had Kick, where messages could erase after 24 hours, after just reading gifts. They went on from that, and once Ken felt confident in their relationship, he decided to make a post on IG. They went kind of crazy. From then on out, they decided to do the YouTube. When I'm scanned dog food? Chocolate pudding. Pick your poison, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. What'd you have? Dog food? No, I got chocolate pudding. I just don't want chocolate. Bruh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Smell it. Don't smell it. They pretty much started their YouTube channel in 2014, the same year they met. And it pretty much took off from there. They they really did a lot of like science challenges. Okay, that's exactly how theirs went. Really? Yeah. Come on, I think it might work. Okay, I think it might work. Think it might work. Oh shit, it might work. It might work. It might work. It might work. Oh my gosh. Alright, it's not. It's kind of working, but we want it to be bigger. It's not going anymore, man. Put it up. Put it up. It smells like burnt brownies or some shit. But this is freaking. Awesome, dude. Well, it's still kind of coming out. Yeah, it's still coming but. out. They did a lot of vlogs. Once they got that coin coming in, honey, they started doing traveling vlogs. Good morning, DK. So what's up, guys? So this has been our room for the last four days and it's gonna be our room for the next two just check this out real quick if you lock yourself out you can swim to the ladder and climb up and hopefully that door not locked but if it is then you as well but if it's not you can get into your room without a key card so let's go ahead and jump into this thing they was traveling country to country to country honey they had no keys they was just gone they were just blown in the wind enjoying that coin together enjoying the platform and the empire they was building together fast forward Four years later, 2018 is when the scandal started scanning the child. That was the first time Ken publicly was accused of cheating on the air raid. I was like, okay, so how did y'all meet? Where did y'all did y'all meet anywhere? She's like, oh, we met at the mall. I was like, okay, did y'all ever talk to each other at the mall? She told me no. I was like, okay, so. And when the whole situation went down, I noticed that the girl followed Ken, but Ken didn't follow her. If y'all didn't talk at the mall, he didn't know who you was then, how can he DM you and don't even know your Instagram name? So with that being said, and that, that threw everything for a whirlwind. The air and Ken are like, everybody love dk 4 Like, they was just so pure, so genuine. They damn near vlogging every fucking day. Like, when is this man finding the time to cheat? 
baby men got superpowers when it comes to finding that time to be a dog on the back end everybody was shot everybody was definitely shot 2018 a girl i forgot her name but she came out to try to say that kim was trying to get with her that kim was trying to meet up with her all this bullshit but come to find out this girl was allegedly trying to extort them Either she was trying to extort them or she didn't come with her receipts how she should have came. Look through it. The emails are fake. We're going to do a whole screen recording so y'all can see how they're fake. Like she changed the dates, she changed the times, and she changed the subjects, and she changed all the facts. Ken admitted to Instagram DMing with the girl. He claimed the girl was having relationship issues and he was giving her relationship advice. Why are you giving this girl relationship advice when you got Google and she could just backtrack on your idea of videos and she want to take notes? Nigga, you, you're not a therapist. You're not a relationship therapist. This, this, is ain't, this is not what you do, especially with a random ass supporter. I don't know. It sounds sketchy, but I'm going to continue. But the catch is, how did the Instagram DMs go to private emails? Because they started emailing them. How'd that work? It got to a point where the girl mama now, I do believe she was 18. She was, I do believe she was over 18. She had to be 18, 19, but she was young because even her mama got involved. He's going to tell the fucking truth. He was, he was, so, he, well, my, 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 my oldest daughter had came to learn to see my daughter because the one daughter she was staying there, she could move back to Memphis, the one, the one he was talking to. Uh -huh. He took them out. That's when they was in that car in his Tesla. He uh -huh. took them out. He took them out. And was begging her to come to that to that home with her, and she wouldn't even do it because um, we don't we don't play games like this. So he tried to bring my daughter to his house where him and they live, and they all up there, everybody saying all this crazy. So nobody want no money, no fame, no nothing. Because baby, we got money. If it if it's false. You know, she wrong for that. But if it's true, baby girl didn't come with her receipts. And the DK4L fan base shut that shit down. They was like, this shit sound too sketch. So after that, life goes on. 2019, they, De'Aaron and Ken took a trip to Greece. And he got on one knee and he proposed. Dear, like my man, my man, my boo, my boo ski. She, of course, said yes. You can tell Dear definitely want a ring before she try to have kids, any of that, and she should. So, yeah, Ken popped that question and she said yes. And I definitely think my girl was in love at that point. They looking at land, they they buying land together. It's raining. Excuse me. It's pretty hard. Turn it to, to, turn it to ice. You know, it's supposed to snow over the weekend? That what it said. It said it's supposed to snow. snow. I'm just lying. I really don't oh. know. You can see his number was, but yeah. It's supposed to be just it's, oh, it's huge piece of land. You can see something down there. I'm not sure what that is. Look at the air trying to be all adventurous. It's hard. Look at all these trees though. So if we were to do this, we would have to tear all this down. So it'd be hard. It'd be expensive. Oof. 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 Boy, look at all these leaves. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Let me, I'm not going to go all the way down because it's like a really, really steep hill. Like, it's so many freaking trees. And these trees are tall. But all of this, like, all of this, like, that's a lot of trees. Oh, my. If we do, if this was the land that we chose or purchased, then we will spend even more money trying to get, hire somebody to clean it out. I ain't going to go down too far because your girl ain't trying to do all that. Okay. But. It's nice. It was this land and other land, but we went to stop. We went to go see that land, but we didn't vlog that part. That's all we got. But y'all see this one so cool. They about to build a big ass house, I'm pretty sure, for their future family. They continue to do the vlogs. They doing their vlogmas. They October Halloween vlogs. Like, they just doing what they do. Doing what they does. Child, a year later, this nigga Ken is back in the vlogs. He's for Is that life? Yes, this is live. Hey, we're on our ass. Oh, my gosh. Key. Key. 
and this time he was gonna blast for something he could not talk his way up out of honey he is a leo and them leos are some smooth talkers they smooth talkers and they sneaky i'm a leo am i sneaky i wouldn't consider myself sneaky this ain't about me this ain't about me so anyway 2020 came this nigga is back in the blogs for cheating and this time it was a video this time he did meet up with the girl this time he was gripping that ass all up on the girl and it looked like he was on a double date but some fans caught him on the back end they seen the car they seen ken the hair everything like just moving so sloppy just moving so sloppy and his ass got caught 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 you get caught cheating in 2018 you get caught cheating in 2020 in between that you propose so it's given what was you doing on the back end that you didn't get caught for like what was the proposal to mask what's really going on to kind of like blind her a little bit so her focus could be elsewhere and you really doing this shit on the back end because that's what it's giving I think that just came to a point that they just had to come to an end. Like, it, it just wasn't no if ands, or buts about it. It was like, you didn't learn the first time. Who knows what happened behind the cameras? And you damn sure didn't learn this time. So, 2021, they decided to publicly announce that they was making separate YouTube channels. This is not the end. It's not the end, guys. Don't, yeah. don't even... Don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> now, I know you guys have been asking about separate channels and... This is where we are now. So if you want to see more of the era, you can subscribe to me at my YouTube channel, which is the era Taylor, and your girl is gonna be doing cooking videos, which y'all know I love to cook, shopping, okay. traveling, fashion, makeup, all the stuff that I love. And if you wanna follow Ken's journey, then come on over, subscribe. My channel's name is Who Is Ken, and I'll be showcasing who I am daily through vlogs, different awareness projects, different wealth and fitness things, all of these type of things. Because, you know, of course, they was an upload on their channel for a while. They wasn't uploading no vlogs. I mean, how could they upload vlogs? The motherfuckers ain't around each other no more. And people even speculated that they being broken up. They was just really doing the shit for the money at that point. Looking at what's going on today, you can definitely tell that the era was the personality and the start of the relationship. Being born is fuck. Let's be fucking for real. Like, he is born as hell. Don't get me wrong, like, they could probably be fun when it comes to, like, you in the presence of them. He doing good shit, you know, he traveling, doing army-based things, but it's giving with your audience that y'all are used to and the audience y'all already have. The air got that on lock. The era is still coming out with the home aesthetic type thing. She's still doing the cooking thing. She's still doing the real life traveling thing. And Ken's video was like six months ago and he only had like 17K views. And I'm like, damn, I only got 1.6 subscribers. And I'm about to have that. Y'all run me up. We're trying to hit 10K in three minutes. Fast forward to these days, the era is with a girl called Stud Poppy. <laughs> Word on the curb is everybody was like, How y'all gonna be mad at Ken for moving how he moved? But allegedly, the era then took her little stub poppy girlfriend from one of her own friends. So, oh, to sum it up, y'all, like it's a difference between an associate and a friend. You see what I'm saying? Like, I have a lot of associates, I talk to a lot of people. That doesn't make them my friend. Like, it comes with my profession. Like, I have to come and say and talk to a lot of people. But like I said, it doesn't make them my friend. Now, if you guys remember in Deara's birthday vlog from about two years ago, Deara explained that she did meet her trainer, Kay, first. Of course, you guys know Jazz and Kay are sisters. She, well, she claimed they're not together. They don't fuck with each other. She claims she's single, but baby, you definitely, you definitely getting that box lit. She definitely getting that box licked on. The poppy is cute. She is cute, tall. You know what I mean? And she don't give like too much. She don't give like she's trying to be a nigga. But she gives like masculine, like how it should be. Because a lot of studs these days be damn near the motherfucking woman. They be five foot, 100 pounds heavy, soaking wet. 
And that girl be like five, three, five, four, five, six, five, seven, a hundred feet, be the seventy pounds, about to toss their ass out the fucking window anytime they even lift a finger, y'all. I'm not playing. That's my deep dive in the rabbit hole on DK4 I hope y'all liked it. Let's get this video to 20 likes. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank y'all so much for watching. And I'm out.